This is GabNet, the Great American Broadcast Network, now in its eighth year of talk like you've never heard it before. gentlemen we go out to california to talk to larry <laughs> bubbles brown hi larry hey Alex. yeah you ever do this you ever have this happen it just happened to me you take such a massive dump <laughs> that the toilet won't flush so then you start plunging it and nothing happens <laughs> so, oh man i'm telling you you know I really, I, 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 life just doesn't get any better. Everything, nothing works anymore. That's what I was saying to somebody. Nothing works. I mean, there. I used to talk about the fact that there were days that I would wake up, and uh, all, that day it was like anything I would touch would break. You know, any electronics, any television set, every everything would go wrong. Just if I touched it, and then the next day everything was fine again. Uh, And uh, today, uh, the last week, nothing has worked for me. Everything has been, all my electronics, I mean, the only thing that's working right now perfectly is uh, the thing that records this show, Adobe Audition. A little break. And your phone call, which I wish were a little louder, but we're talking over your ancient telephone. Landline. Landline. You know, I... um, Speaking of your landline, why is it that I tried to call it and it said uh, you're not available? Oh, I uh, the ringer was off on the phone. I didn't know that, and I just suddenly I heard the answering machine go on, and then. Oh, I see. Well, I didn't get yeah. an answering machine. They just said. Yeah, that it's, it's a generic. Uh, oh really? Oh, so, and, and, yeah. And, and then it just hangs up on you if you don't. Yeah. Want to all right. <laughs> Well, Larry, you know, at, at least, at least, well, you know something, at least, and, and this is good to know, uh, you're up with the technology enough that you have an answering machine. <laughs> yes. I mean, we love to talk about you uh, on well, my show. The, on my, what? the first time I saw an answering machine was on the Rockford Files, Jim Rockford, the show opened with an answering machine. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah. I I got one of the first answering machines. In fact, it I got it from somewhere where I literally had to rent it. Well, that was uh, that's a good technology. How when was the first answering machine? The sixties. Uh, I would say it was the sixties. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and I had an automatic uh, phone dialer, but what it was were these punch cards, and you would put it into the phone, and it would call the person. Oh, okay. Now, how that was any easier than just dialing it, I have yeah. no idea, but I love the technology. I was always up with the newest technology. Mm-hmm. Now I hate technology. You know, I think you've got the right idea. I do, yes. Uh, In fact, if if you could just live with rotary phones, but unfortunately, I think they just tore down the last payphone here in Manhattan. I heard that. Yeah, those are gone. Yeah. Uh, no pay phones. Uh, I just got rid of something on my on my uh, cable thing because I suddenly noticed I was being paid. You know, when sometimes you don't know this because you don't have cable. Uh, do you have cable? No. 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 Oh, okay. So uh, when you get cable, they give you a package. And in this package, they throw in a phone. Now, the phone isn't a physical phone. It's a phone line on the cable, and you have to, like, get your own little phone to plug into it. And I, I've had that forever, and I haven't used it at all. All I ever use is my, my, my what do you call it, phone, my uh, iPhone, mm-hmm. for all my stuff, all right? For all my stuff. And uh, I... Uh, 
uh, I, I never used that landline. I can't tell you the last time I used it. In fact, I have to look it up to remember what the number was, you know. And so the other day I had this thing with the cable company where they gave me a whole new plan because the old plan had it kind of expired and it was old and they didn't offer that one anymore. And one of my two of my services disappeared and they didn't tell me any of this. It just, it just disappeared. And um, so they said, well, here's a new plan. And they said, the plan's the same price as the old plan. I said, oh, good, that's terrific. And you get Disney Plus a bundle for a year. And I went, oh, that's good, because I already have it. But, you know, if you can switch it over, we're fine. And then they don't tell me that I don't get HBO Plus, which I asked the guy repeatedly. Do, uh, and I have to chat with him. I can't, I can't phone him. You can't phone these people anymore. Right. And, and, and I said over and over again, do I get HBO Max? Yes, absolutely, you get HBO Max. Do I get HBO Max? Yes, absolutely, I get HBO Max. Let's call, let's call uh, 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 Bubs again here. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Uh, anyway, uh, as I was saying, and I asked him repeatedly, do I get HBO Max? Do I get HBO Max? Yes, 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 yes. Next thing I find out, I don't get HBO Max. All right. So I call, I again chat with somebody. I went through one guy and then I went to another guy. And I said, listen, I noticed on my bill that I'm paying 25 bucks a month for that stupid phone, right? But I don't need that stupid phone. I, I don't want that service anymore. Can I take it off? He said, absolutely. I said, okay, now add the uh, HBO Max. And that was 15 bucks a month. So I saved $10 on my bill yeah, every yeah. month. Yeah. But it was because I didn't need that phone. I never use it. It was forced on me. I thought I didn't know I was paying for it, you know. But apparently, right. after my initial uh, uh, deal went was finished after two years, and I could quit anything, I didn't know that I was being charged twenty five bucks a month for that. I mean, I could have saved uh, twenty five, twenty five. Oh, uh, uh, several, uh, what, 400 bucks a year? Is that what I'm thinking? No. People would check their bills or paying for stuff. They have no idea. Well, people on their cable bill yeah. are paying for, what they're paying for also is the company, the cable company has to pay a lot of these organizations to carry them. Um, you know, I uh, uh, like HBO and so on, things like that. And the cable company pays X number of dollars to HBO and H number uh, X number of dollars to Discovery and blah 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 blah. Do you know who gets the most money of any service out there? And I, since you don't have cable, you probably never heard no. of them. Lifetime. Life. Uh, you're going what? Do you know what Lifetime is? I've heard of it. Yeah. You've heard of it. But I, I can't tell you the last time I watched Lifetime. And I don't think I can find anybody listening me, to me right now who has listened to Lifetime. And wow. they, they get $9 a month per cable, per, per subscriber. So, you know, $90, uh, $100 a year, maybe $110 of your money per year goes to Lifetime. I never use it. I don't want it. Goodbye, Lifetime. You know? Yeah, you should be able to pick and choose. Yes. Well, they, they have a new pr thing here called Mix and Match, but I can't figure out how to make it work. So, uh, you know. Anyway. Well. Yeah. Yeah. So, how have you been doing? Uh, good. I don't have a rotary phone. <laughs> you don't when, have. Is the rotary phone would they still work? I don't know. Oh, you have a you have a touch tone. Yeah. I don't know. Would a rotary still work? That's a good question. I think they might. Still well, wait work. a minute. I can. You can always go here. Oh, wait a minute. Hold on a second. Let me ask. Uh, Echo. Do rotary phones still work? What did she say? Here's something I found on the web. According to Hackaday.com, yeah. rotary phones are still useful and becoming more useful as time goes by. They say rotary phones are useful and still useful as time goes by. Wow. I wonder if they still work. 
I mean, I, I, you know, with the current system, most of it is electronic, and I don't know how. Well, I mean, he probably could read a, a rotary signal. Like, I'm trying to remember how the rotary phones worked exactly. I think every time you you dialed it, it clicked the number of times for each number, and then that went to wherever you were calling, and it then said, "Here's the final number you're calling." It was a weird kind of system, I guess. Maybe an early version of digital without actually being digital. So. Yeah, those old phones you couldn't unplug them, and they were you couldn't destroy them with an atom bomb. <laughs> oh, I, I, you know, I was often said that I wanted to see AT and T when they finally said, "Well, you can't just give them your phones; they have to have the choice if they want to buy a phone." And I thought, if I was over at AT and T, here's the ad I would do. Uh, remember the time you got into a fight with your wife and you pulled the phone out of the wall and then you threw it against the wall? Do you remember how that phone survived all of that and all you had to do was just screw it back into the wall? We're AT&T. <laughs> <laughs> because these new phones, if hell, they, you drop them, they break. You know? Oh, yeah. Uh, Crap. Yeah. Uh, you're probably talking to me on one of them, right? Uh, Yeah. Yeah, and uh, probably if you were talking to me on a handheld phone or a, 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 a corded phone, it's not a corded. Is it a corded phone or is it a wired? It's, wired? A, it's a plug-in. It's a plug-in. Yeah. yeah. It, uh, it 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 just you know it's a little thin. It's a little tinny. Those old phones had a good sound to them. They and, did, yeah, and uh, they were. I don't know what they made them out of, but they were made, they were heavy and. They were made out of I think a, a thing called Bakelite. And wow. uh, and that stuff just didn't break. You could not break one of those phones. No. And there was a reason why. Because the phone company still owned that phone. They owned it. Yeah, you rented it every month. Yeah. So they didn't want to get it back eventually broken. So they made it so it wouldn't break. And and don't you wish they did stuff like that today? It'd be nice to have good stuff, yeah. You know, the stuff they're building today is pure crap. Break, it's all crap, yeah. B- breaks easily and so on and so forth, you know. Um, but, uh, so anyway, since I saw you last, I had COVID. Oh, that, that's, yeah, you sent me an email. I, you said you weren't feeling horrible. I wasn't feeling horrible. I never got to the horrible state. Marjorie's still suffering uh, with the after effects. She's got some long-haul effect. Ooh. going on where she's tired all the time and doesn't have energy uh, I have slightly lightheadedness things like that but nothing terrible I didn't get it see what happened was she we went to the uh, we went to I, you know, I went to the emergency room did I tell you that story yeah yeah I went to the emergency room and she sat in the waiting room for a while with all these diseased human beings coming in wearing a mask you know and all of that but we figure that's where she got it and, you got and it then, her. then she, then I got it from her, and I was off by a couple of days. Okay, she got it, and then I started getting uh, symptoms on my Monday. I tested myself on Saturday, Sunday, and I didn't have it. I tested myself on Monday, and I had it. I had a doctor's appointment that I was supposed to do. I called the uh, the doctor, uh, and I had him call me back. I said, "It looks like we got COVID." Can you? What can you do about this? He he gave us a thing called Paxlovid, which is this new thing that even if you haven't been vaccinated, it can prevent you from getting a bad case of of uh, uh, COVID. So we took it because it it kind of it just kills the virus in a day. In a day. In a wow. day. Yeah. And so we took that as a backstop because we've been vaccinated and boosted and all of that. But, you know, at our age, you don't want to take any chances, all right? So we took the Paxlovid. We think that may have caused some of the after effects. But uh, I never got it bad, but she kind of got it, you know, she was coughing and feeling headachey and things like that, you know, uh, mm-hmm. normal light flu symptoms. I didn't get any of them. So I took this Paxlovid and so did she. So I it stopped me from even really getting a big case of it but we were we i i missed uh, two shows because i was just so tired i couldn't you know i could just couldn't do it really you isn't know. that uh how many pills is that it's uh 
two pills, what is it, two pills every day uh, at the same time. Uh, and uh, you, we t you take them for five days, and uh, that was, uh, well, it was 20 pills. So what would that be? Maybe I we took it twice a day, maybe? I can't remember. Oh, yeah, yeah. There was an evening and there was a morning. That was it. There was an evening and a morning. And uh, and we took them. And, uh, you know, I didn't feel any real effects from it. Marjorie felt a lot of effects from it. But uh, she was, I think, had gotten sicker than I was. And you have to do it within five days of first symptoms. And we had to do this fast because she was running on five days. I was only maybe in my second day. So, it, you know, I mean, it was, it was a, a bit of an adventure. And I'd like to say we had COVID, but I really didn't come down with a, with a case of it, you know, where I could sit here and tell you, boy, I was, I was headachy and I, I felt like crap and blah, blah, blah. Because, no. But I did feel exceedingly weak, uh, you know. Weaker than I normally am, you know. Well, and, yeah. virus is never going to disappear, Christ. Well, you haven't gotten it yet, right? Not yet, no. Not yet, but then again, how much do you go out? How much do you go out? <laughs> well, I still hit the clubs a little, so I'm definitely in some crowds of people. Yeah, yeah. Are the clubs doing okay? They're doing all right, yeah, but uh, they keep talking about new variants and that people are getting freaked out again, so I don't know. Yeah, but, I mean, um, so the clubs are doing stu doing good business, are they? Yeah, right now they're not requiring masks inside. And I think that's, that's a mistake. I really think that's a mistake. I mean, we really should be very precautious about all of this. Am I wrong? I think inside you got to be careful. Outside, I don't think you do, but inside, yeah. Yeah, definitely. So you know, so uh, there we go with uh, more problems here. You know, uh, but I so I've been I've been going through I went through that and I went through that whatever that thing was where I fell and bumped my head on the sink and fell to the floor and had to be dragged off by the paramedics. <laughs> You've had quite a month. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, I, I mean, maybe it, I'm thinking now if I hadn't called the paramedics and I just laid there and then eventually started throwing up a bit, uh, maybe I would have felt better. But the thing was, once I got to the emergency room, they gave me an anti-nausea uh, uh, thing, pill, and it, it really worked fast. Because the thing that was the most disgusting was the nausea. I just, and I, I never get, I never throw up. And in fact, I, I threw up, but I couldn't throw up a lot because I just don't really throw up. I know I that's haven't I thrown up in years. Yeah, but that's, I, that's, uh, yeah, I'm not, a, not a pleasant feeling. I just don't throw up. Okay, uh, I don't know why. I think it's because uh, looking at puke make, makes me want to puke. <laughs> And it becomes redundant, you know. Yeah. Uh, so I, I, I have my my limits. Uh, but anyway, so I was, I was just, you know, it was just like I was throwing up, and uh, uh, every time I'd lift my head, I'd feel like I had to throw up, and uh, so, and I couldn't get up. I just couldn't get up. I was just too lightheaded. So finally, she called the ambulance, and those guys came, and they wheeled me out to the elevator and took me down and put me in the thing but the only thing that bothers me once I had to I had to get a um, uh, 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 ambulance for Marjorie because she had a thing with her leg and she it was so bad she couldn't walk and in both cases something didn't happen with the ambulance that disappointed me and, and you know you're paying 400 bucks for the ambulance I think that sounds cheap <laughs> maybe five okay but what do you expect for your money the siren. That's it. You're right. Abs you, I didn't even have to tell you what I was thinking. Yeah. In both cases, no siren. And I felt like yelling out to them, although, I, hey, give me my money's worth. Turn on the siren, <laughs> will you? And the flashing light. <laughs> yeah. You know, but they'd come to a stop sign and they'd stop. I mean, come on. What's an ambulance <laughs> for? You know. 
And then they took the bumpiest road they could find, and I'm nauseous, right? Ugh. It was it was just something. But uh, your health's pretty good, right? How's your hernia doing? The one they were supposed to operate on, and then they didn't because the doctor had some other things to do. Yes, I've canceled twice, and then once the surgeon couldn't make it, that was the third time. So now they've got me tentatively scheduled for September, but they said maybe November. We're really backed up. We don't know yet. Well, you would think if they had, like, stiffed you like they did, Mm-hmm. You know, and you were, you know, what happens when you're going to have an operation like that? You're, you're, you're kind of ready for it, you know. Yeah. But you anticipated it, and you worry about it, and so on. And now the day comes, and they say we're not going to do it, and now you got to wait till November to go through this whole thing again. Yeah, I just, I, I want it over with, Christ. When I had my seeds implanted, my radioactive seeds. I'm a robo-man uh, in my prostate. Um, th- 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 just before the operation, just before they were going to do it, you know, and I'm a little anticipatory about this because, come on, you know, I'm, I'm all in the scrubs and everything I'm supposed to wear, the gown, or, you know, and they've done all the work they had to do and all the pre-interviews and you, all the stuff you got to go through before they take you into an operating room. And uh, my doctor calls down and says it's been canceled. The yeah. hospital, Mount Sinai, forgot uh-huh. to order a part. A part, <laughs> really? Yeah. There's some kind of thing that goes down in your tween where they go and they do it. It's slaproscopic and all of that. But the, the, the little, little gizmo that goes in my tween uh, wasn't available. Or they hadn't ordered it. And he comes down and apologizes. He says, I'm so fucking mad at this hospital. He says, I can't believe it, you know. He said, yeah, that's bad. You know, I'm tr- I try to do my job, and then they don't supply me with the equipment. So they put it off for a week. And then I went and I had it, okay. Uh, one week later, about a, one week later, they closed down the city and Mount Sinai. In other words elective procedures which I guess this is considered weren't being done so I dodged a bullet Wow! really dodged a bullet um, but you know look look at it I go to a hospital get an operation they can't operate on me because they forgot to order the part alright and then and then uh, I, I, I have another incident I go to the hospital and Marjorie gets COVID in the waiting room what, is that a hospital? I mean, don't, you, don't you think they hose down? <laughs> and they've down? got such a good name. Well, I mean, you know, come on, they're so big about about COVID. Wear a mask. Yeah. Well, why not uh, check the people? You know, check the temperatures. Uh, do the, everything you got to do to make and make sure people are six feet apart. But everybody today is getting so loosey goosey about this whole thing that we're starting to see a surge. I mean, and so yeah. we got it. We we were so proud of ourselves. I can't tell you. We go around bragging. No, we haven't gotten COVID yet. You've gotten COVID? Eh, what kind of filthy person are you? You know? <laughs> and and we were so proud of it that we hadn't gotten COVID. And all of a sudden, we get it because I got to go to the hospital. You know, that should be the safe place to go. You would think. You yeah. would think. Yeah. So um, that was the uh, that was the sum total of well, like you said, nothing works. This Supply is lines are falling apart. You can't, you can't get a flight anymore apparently without a cancellation. And oh, oh, well, look, I, you know, anybody who tries to travel right now is out of their goddamn mind. I'd be afraid to fly right now. Well, I, I'm not. A, wouldn't be afraid to fly. You know, what I'd be afraid of is that I'd be sitting there in the goddamn airport for 24 hours before my plane took off. Someone told me they were, I forget what airport they were, it was so crowded, there were, you couldn't even sit on the floor. And that's how, so talk about spreading COVID. Well, I talked to somebody, there are these, uh, these uh, you know, these gas station rest stops uh, it, throughout the South called Bucky's. That's where you get your gas and then you can go in and get lunch, mm-hmm. you know. She said she pulled into a Bucky's and they had the cheapest gas prices she'd seen. It was something like four dollars and twenty-five cents a gallon, something like that. 
you couldn't find a parking place in Bucky's. And, and these were people on the road. This is over the uh, the late, the uh, uh, Fourth of July weekend. So, yeah, yeah. So, so don't go to Bucky's. No, you never heard. Of, you never heard of Bucky's, right? No, it's that four twenty five gas sound. I never thought that would sound nice. Neither. I'd never heard of Bucky's either. But then I started watching the news, and they had. Uh, I've been watching these things about cars. Well, we'll talk about this because you like cars. Right? I love cars. Well, we'll talk about it next time we talk because we've run out of time here, Okay, Bubs. Anyway, that's Larry Bubbles Brown. Talk to you next week, Larry. Catch you next week. Yes. Okay, bye-bye. This is GabNet, the Great American Broadcast Network, now in its eighth year of talk like you've never heard it before. And there was Larry Bubbles Brown, folks. Uh, yeah, okay. All right, good for Larry. Let me get my sound up here. We had a little sound problem there. We had sound problems at the beginning of the show, you know. I got almost all the bugs worked out of this system, okay? You may notice my picture isn't glitching anymore. The reason is I bought a new camera. I got one. First, well, uh, well I'll, let me let me talk to Charlie here. Then I can tell Charlie I can have somebody to talk to about this, okay? <coughs> let me uh, let me bring him in. Hello, Charlie. Wait a minute. Hello. Are you there? Okay. Good. Just me, huh? Yeah. yeah, yeah, just you. Just you. So, screw them all. Oh, wait a minute. Here comes Jeff. Jeff can always be counted on, you know? Jeff, and you, you can be counted on when you haven't got a game. Hello there, Jeff. Hello. How are you? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Anyway, um, in. hello, Charlie. No, wait a, there, wait a minute. Now you got your audio up. Get rid of your browser. Just get rid of your browser, Jeff. Always remember to get rid of your browser. Okay. Ooh. Oh, wait a minute. See, Jeff. He, he, Jeff can always be counted on. You know. Yeah. Well, Jeff, and you you can be counted on when you haven't got a Jeff. Game. I was here. Oh, okay. There you go. You got it. You got I'm it. I'm on. You got it. Okay. Um, anyway, uh, what I what I was saying was, I decided not to wear a hat tonight. I don't know why. I, just, I see that. Well, my wife gave me a haircut a couple of days ago, and I figured, ah, oh, it looks pretty good. Wait a minute, this door keeps seeming like it's opening up. I don't know. Anyway, um, so I've been having, as you know, nothing but tech, one technical problem after another. And tonight, I yeah. figured, oh, I've got it all all taken care of, right? Uh, I even had a problem with uh, the uh, uh, with my audio going out uh, to uh, just the audio only stream, right? So mm -hmm. I had to take care of that, and then I had to put a new uh, piece of equipment for the pro program for that. And then I had to get that all worked out so that it works okay. So I got it mostly so it was okay except at the very beginning there was some feedback at the very beginning of the show if you were listening to it live and I got rid of that and then I put on the I uh, put on this uh, which is the opening okay to the show this is gabnet the great american broadcast network now in its 8th year of okay so what the problem there was it was unbelievably loud because my uh I had a problem with my uh, 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 what do you call it? my my volume here, you know. All these things I've got to got to get them working. Okay, but how's my how's my picture look tonight? Good. Okay. Yeah. Huh? You look You're a little bright, but outside of that, a little bright. Yeah. Maybe on like your a light bulb. That's not funny. Come on. <laughs> no, it's it's it. I see it out here. It looks perfect. Okay, maybe it's my uh, my my computer. Yeah, how does it look to you, Brian? Yeah, it look great. You look beautiful. Yeah. No, hey, what? Can I show you, can I show you a quick picture of my my lovely daughter? Oh. <laughs> I don't think I see see that much, but so she has COVID now. Oh, jeez. Oh. Yeah. So, so she she's lounging there with her legs her legs spread out. She has next to her that red thing is a container of cereal, the cereal thing. Mm -hmm. So she's just lounging back there with the cereal, just jumping on it. God, so funny. 
Didn't affect her appetite. Uh, well, we'll get to your. We'll get to. <laughs> okay. We'll get to Adrian and her uh, COVID. But first, <clears throat> first, let me just tell you what happened here. Mm. So uh, I, you know, I I sent, I sent away for one camera, which was an Elgato, and it came here. It was 167 bucks, and it was didn't work somehow because I was I hadn't gotten things settled with my um, my Zoom which I had to change the program on Zoom. I explained that the other night. So I sent that one back, right? Then I got another one, and this one was 150. And this was a uh, Logitech camera. And I sent that back because it wouldn't work with the system. Then I changed my Zoom to a Zoom that works with the new machine that I had because it needs to work with what they call Apple Silicon and so I sent back two cameras already. Now, either of those cameras might have worked, but I finally decided what the hell, I would buy this thing called a Razer that was $101. Pretty cheap, huh? I put that thing in tonight. It looks as good, if not better, than my 4K camera. It looks, doesn't it look good? Sharp? You nice know. and sharp, yeah. Yeah, nice and sharp, so I don't know. You know, uh, so the cheapest camera I could lay my hands on was the one that, uh, that did the trick. So here we are, no glitching. My 4K Logitech glitches, all of them glitch, so there's something wrong with them working with something else. But I got everything working perfectly today, and then I go on and the music is too loud, and the this is the that, and the bed, the bed, the bed. I'm exhausted, you know what I'm gonna do this weekend? I'm just going to turn off all my equipment <laughs> and I'm not going to touch it till Monday. Okay? Does that sound fair? Yeah. 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 Then I, because oh, yeah. last night I was exhausted. I had another tragedy last night at 2 o'clock in the morning. Well, my, my, when I upgraded my Fios to a new bunch of things, you know. They gave me free a year of the Disney Bundle. Well, the Disney Bundle is uh, is Disney Plus and it's uh, yeah. ESPN Plus and it's Hulu. Okay, so I then look and I get a bill from um, uh, uh, what do you call it? Uh, what's the what's the money site? Uh, PayPal. PayPal. Okay. Yeah. For a hundred and uh, what, what, what for twelve dollars and ninety five cents for my Hulu bill for this month, and I'm going well. I'm, I'm supposed to get Hulu for free, and then I suddenly realize, well, no, I'm on the Hulu with no commercials plan, which if I just went simply with the FiOS plan, I wouldn't have gotten it without commercials. So, but then I noticed that what they've done, what Disney has done, Disney has been is very smart all the way around. I went on to Disney and they said, oh, well, you're getting, you're going to be getting only having to pay six bucks a month for, uh, for, uh, for, for Hulu because that's the $6 extra for the non-commercial plan. So, I, you know, but I was up till 2.30 in the morning on the line to Hulu about that one. Then I couldn't go to sleep, so I took my pregabalin, and I also took a, uh, a Xanax, and woke up this morning so zonked that I couldn't believe it, all right? And I'm very tired right now. I'm just exhausted. And then one thing after another, getting this going, getting that going. The thing that went the easiest was the installation of the new camera, which I'm looking at it right now, and I'm looking at it online. It looks better than the 4K camera that I paid $200 for. Okay, so everybody, it's called a razor. Razor. Yeah, and the only thing bad about it is that on uh, uh, Max, it doesn't have a program to run it with, so I have to use other programs to run it. But otherwise, it was fine, you know. Hmm. But anyway, I guess is this going to be it tonight? I guess. Well, nice bunch of people. I, I, I could. So anyway, Adrian has COVID. Yeah, so Stephanie was getting, she got COVID uh, a few days ago, and then 
Adrian, I've been sleeping with Adrian like on her floor. She makes like a tent for us, and mm -hmm. she keeps changing how we're gonna sleep. She's so excited. And then uh, she was a little bit. Her body was warm, but her head was fine. It was cool. Uh, but she was coughing a little bit last night, mm -hmm. so I said, so I left for work, and I brought some tests home from work. Tiffany tested herself. Test now she's done with COVID. It's out of her system. And then, um, but Stephanie, I said test her to see because we tested her a few days ago and she was positive. So she's still positive. I said test Adrian also just to see, mm -hmm. and then Adrian's positive. So, yeah. So Stephanie's in her room playing her games. Adrian's in. Well, she went downstairs now. How about you? Yeah, I'm staying away. <laughs> well, <laughs> no, I mean I slept with Adrian all week and I haven't. I have a little bit of sore throat, you know, but I think it's from all the. But have you told and, Adrian to stay away from you? Yeah, so she came down with her mask on, and she like was across the the couch and put her arm up where mine was and touched me. So yeah. So. Oh boy, well you got it now. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So if I, <laughs> but you know, I we're we're all in the car together. Simon hasn't got it, and I said Simon said, should I test today? And I said no. Do you have symptoms? He said no. And I said then go to the gym, have have fun while you can. So yeah. So wow. I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. So, yeah, I don't know if I should just you know, get it now and get it over with, or <laughs> try to keep running from it. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Well, the problem yeah. is there's no getting it over with because you can catch it multiple times. <laughs> That's what I told Tiffany, too, so I told her, you know. I'm not even going outdoors now. I'm not even going out. I'm not going to the store. I'm not doing anything because mm -hmm. here in New York, it is just running rampant. Yeah. You know? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think like you said before, it's running. I mean, it's very contagious, and people are very lax about stuff, and and everybody's gonna get it now. It won't be that harsh, but you know, it's just gonna happen, I guess. Yeah. Well, I'm going to. I'm going to. Uh, uh, it's all Biden's fault. Yeah. <laughs> and and I'm gonna vote for Trump. I'm Charlie. Uh, 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 Tony. Tony's, Tony. To, you Tony. Like Tony's right. Tony's. <laughs> Tony's. Talks the. Tr speaks the truth. You know, I wonder what Tony, uh, Tony, are you out there? Because I, I, I really want to ask you something. What do you want to ask me, Alex? I want to ask you how you feel about the <laughs> fact that gas is down by 30 cents a gallon. Yep. And uh, the unemployment rate is down and the employment rate is up. Okay. Come on, Tony. Where are you? Come on. 300,000 300, new jobs. 300,000 new jobs. Uh, and, and everything. I mean, house prices, when I started looking, remember we were talking with Ray the other night, and house prices are going down. The car stuff is going down, or at least it's mellowing out right now, like the exotics. They're starting to sort of see some uh, little bit lower prices. So, I mean, everything's starting to do that, take that turn. And here we go with uh, COVID cases continuing to go up. We, we rate. Sunnyvale, I'm on one call, uh, upper management, and we, we have one quick slide that rates how many cases and then how many people are out for COVID, like mm -hmm. the self-quarantine. And it was it was coming down, uh, April was down to like seven people, and now it's starting to pick up again. So I mean, everything's showing that it's picking up everywhere. Wow. Wow. So, I mean, it, the, the thing is that the, uh, I don't know what we're going to do about COVID, okay? Uh, I mean, this thing just doesn't seem to be going away, mm -hmm. you know. Uh, now, granted, I mean, even, okay, I just talked to my business manager today. Guess who has COVID? Mm. My business manager. Everybody. He went to Europe on vacation. And I said, well, that's the trouble. You know, you went to Europe. I think, talk about, uh, talk about uh, a dirty place to go. You know, he was kidding me about it, but you know, he was in Germany and he was in places like that. And come on, you know. Plus, oh. you get on a goddamn airplane. I was in Sweden, uh, playing for ten hours, no masks, no nothing. Oh. You know, some the Mexican cruise, the Mexican cruise, same thing. Okay, the there's a, there's a, there is a new slight theory that there are some people that are immune. That just are. are immune for some odd reason they don't know why they don't uh, you know but maybe you're that either that or you spoke too soon and by monday you know 
that's why I went to work today because now with the whole contact thing with Adrian and I, now it's going to be the, the COVID the COVID response team is reviewing my case right now. But Monday, I think they may say stay home for another week. So if mm -hmm. I were you, I you know, I mean, I if I were your company, I would tell you to stay home. You yeah, know, because know. if every member of your family's gotten COVID except yeah. for you. You know, it's only a matter of time if, in fact, you don't have some kind of basic immunity. And you know, you, you test yourself. I tested Marjorie today because she woke up feeling terrible, just feeling terrible. And uh, I just said, well, let's do it, you know. And we took, we took I gave her the test, and she was fine. Oh, that's good. She didn't have it. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, you know, I can still watch television with her, although... She's gotten to the point where I can't watch television with her because all she wants to watch are these dopey movies. The Lifetime movies? <laughs> no, but just, you know, I mean... It's girl -y and I And I say to her, like, she'll start binge-watching something on Netflix. And I can't stand Netflix anymore. I just, you know, I just... It, there's nothing there for me to watch, okay? But she loves Netflix, and and uh, she starts binge watching these things, and I see her binge watching something. And I said, "You know, you watched that before." I have. So what? I mean, all she does is she gets up in the morning, turns on the television set. Right now, tennis, okay, because she's a big tennis fan, and then it's on to one movie after another. And I'm going, "Come on, you know, read a book, do something else." You know, I get on my computer and do some work and try to put a show together here you know so mm -hmm. um she watches tiffany watches a lot of korean drama stuff so she has me watching one actually it's pretty good it's like a thief story thingy so but you gotta read all the the, the subtitles why does she watch korean stuff she's not she korean like korean no but you know a lot of asian like korean drama all the love story stuff so so brian i i missed the part is your is adrian got is she positive? Yeah. yeah. Oh, she tested wow. positive this morning. She was coughing last night. In bed, so. Did she get a, a vaccination? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yes. So, yeah. so what does a vaccination do? I guess it stops you from getting it really bad. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> think, you know, Hospitalization and death. Yeah, yeah. Well, and maybe not now because, but but definitely you know six months ago, a year ago for sure that was. You know, helping people not get to the hospital. Adrian, if you can hear me, don't come in. You have cooties. <laughs> <laughs> what? But the kid, the Stephanie and her, if they stay in their room, they can have their mask off. But if they come out, they have to have their mask on. So. Yeah, but you know something? Everybody goes, oh, it's so terrible. All these kids at school had to wear masks and so on. Kids don't mind wearing masks, do they? Yeah, yeah. No, they don't. But it's adults who can't stand wearing masks. Did they have contact tracing? How'd you find out that? Do you know where she got it from, Brian? Yeah, her yeah. mother. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, her mother. Yeah, exactly. But her mother was last weekend or two weekends ago before Fourth of July, went to her show. Tiffany went to her sister's house, and her sister's husband had it. They didn't know. So they were over there together, and then Tiffany came home, and she got it when she saw him, you know, all of them at the house. So, Boy, this thing has got to be contagious but that, but that's as hell. two weeks ago, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. And then, yeah, so then, yeah. Yep, yeah, so uh, Tiffany had it last week, and then Stephanie started getting it over the weekend, and then now Adrian. What did I read that they're coming up with a new uh, vaccination that is just going to take care of all of this stuff? Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's I mean, what we were told long, about the last one. Away. What? It's a long ways away, is what they say. Yeah. yeah. Trying to trying to get a look at look at the flu shot, for instance. Trying to get a flu shot that's they've been trying for twenty years to get a one and done flu shot. Well, I mean, you can't expect that because every year it's a different flu. Well, COVID. COVID is. is We've had we've had five variants. Yeah, but but they, sure. they feel that they can come up with a COVID vaccination that takes into account any mutations that might happen. It'd be great if it happens. Yeah, I mean, I'll tell you what the what the game changer is is Paxlovid. 
Absolutely. You know, I mean, that's another uh, uh, Pfizer uh, drug. And Paxlovid, uh, you know, it supposedly it knocks it out. In, when you take your first pill, it knocks it out. Mm. Yeah. Take your word for it. My stock's doing well. I have Pfizer stock, so. Okay. Well, you can take us all out to dinner. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. yeah. The only fact point is we can't go to a restaurant because they're all infected. You know, we got we got this mayor here in this town, and he is just the worst. I mean, he suddenly loosened up all the restrictions in New York. Yeah. Well, you know, I'm sorry. You don't get loosey goosey this early in the game. That's my feeling. Well, I, I think all the governors that we, we shut down and then we remasked and then we opened up and back and forth and it, it, it's all it's all political. Well, they say people it are tired. Nothing to do with medical. Yeah, people are tired of this. Well, it doesn't matter that you're tired <laughs> yeah, the of it. Virus isn't tired. It's yeah, like, right. Exactly. Think. Exactly. And people, people are going to let it mutate, and then we're going to end up with another Delta. Uh, it won't be called Delta, but you know what I mean. It's going to be uh, killing a lot of people. You know? I mean, Dr. Fauci was real clear about a month ago. He said, because of all the people that didn't get a vaccine in the early part of this, this country will never have herd immunity mm. from COVID. But, well, even if tomorrow everybody went out and got uh, uh Shots. Too many variants out there. There's so many variants, and and with the with the latest variants, the vaccine's not working real what well. What he see, so what he's saying is, in the very beginning, when we only had like one strain, yeah, if right. everybody the, had gone if, out if and gotten, everybody, yeah, if everybody in the country that was eligible could go out and get it, we might have been a lot closer to herd immunity. But he says there's no chance now. So, I mean, you know, like Brian's kids will probably never be able to see COVID and herd immunity. I mean, you got to, part of the deal is, is you've got to vaccinate the world. You got to get herd immunity around okay, the let, world. Okay, let, let's, let's go to the future now. And Adrian is uh, 20 years old. Okay. Hopefully it'll be gone by then. Huh? Do you think it'll be gone by then? I or, said hopefully it'll be gone. Or do you think, I, or do you think it won't be? I don't know. The Spanish flu is still out there. Think about that. For yeah, a but we, we, you know, it, it, the Spanish flu, if it happened today, would be easily handled because we have antibiotics and things like that. It wasn't. It wasn't that terrible a flu compared. But it was that we didn't have any yeah, so, any stuff so for we it. We still get every every year in the United States that you get a flu shot. It includes vaccination for. Uh, the Spanish flu. If you look at the the numbers on what's in the in in the uh, vaccine, H one N one is the Spanish flu, and every year it has H one N one. H one N one is is the Spanish flu because I always yeah, hear about H one N one. Yeah, yep. it's the it's the it, it's the number they gave many years ago when they started vaccinating. But we're still getting vaccinated against Spanish flu. But why did so many people die of Spanish flu? Because they didn't have any way to handle it, right? They didn't have vaccines, they didn't have yeah. Yeah. You know the way that the way they the way they slowed it down dramatically is uh, some smart health doctor in San Francisco said we need everybody to start wearing masks and yeah. that day it was all cloth masks but it it dramatically changed the course of uh, of the flu in a period of a year, year and yeah. a half. So. Well, look who joined us. It's a lovely and attractive tone. Tony, let's see your whole face. Come on, Tony. Come on. Just there <laughs> you go. Hello, Tony. How you doing? Mm, I still hate Biden. <laughs> <laughs> Other than that. Well, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh, hold on a second. Yeah. Today, it turns out that there are more people employed than have been in the past. I heard him crowing about. Boy, no, no, no. The the the, the uh, unemployment rate has gone down. Gas is down by thirty cents now. I know. Phil must be happy, Alex. <laughs> huh? Phil must be happy about yeah, that. Yeah, it's not down that much in the Bay Area, but it, it's down. It's down thirty cents <laughs> national. I paid. I paid under six dollars a gallon today for the first. Yeah. Time okay. So now, Tony. All these things that were Biden's fault are also things that Biden is starting to correct. 
So how do you, what do you think about that? Or do you just not like old people? I like old people, just not him, Alex. I don't know. I mean, I come on, come on. What's your, what's your, you, you were griping about the gas. You were, you know, probably you go to the store tomorrow, you'll find steak is 30 cents cheaper than it was last week, you know? I mean, Primo Sausage, I got it on sale, six for two dollars. I told Jackie, that's a deal. I was in the supermarket, and the guy said, Well, that's, well, that's Biden's deal. That's, that's Biden's deal. Oh, that sounds gross. What's it made with? Horse meat? No, Primo, they use it at City Field, actually. It's the sausage of the Met game, too. When you go to the baseball game. Sounds nasty. Yeah, baseball? I make it with spinach. I dice it up, Alex, and I put onions in it. Stuff. Very good. You're such a, you're such a gourmet. <laughs> I try. I touch my mother's recipe. Alex, I just can't take them in. I really being honest about it. There's something about him. He's doddering. But why don't you but, leave? Well, no, that that uh, that's back. being ages. That's being ages. Okay, how about this? He's always cranky. Is that being? Is I'm he... always cranky. But you got a reason. Could you like to be cranky? We can live with that. But Alex, you even said it. He was bothering you too a little bit. No, I think that the, the he uh, he. I hope he doesn't run for president again. Okay, I hope I somebody he, else comes I, along. And he goes, you know, you can you have a better chance of getting elected than me, and and he gives the Democratic Party a chance, a fighting but chance. Here. Question, Alex. What? At his age, and I don't mean it in a bad sense. Uh, let me rephrase that. He's not in the best shape. Should he really be bicycling, bicycling at seventy-eight years old? Bicycling. You know, on the tricycle. What? You don't want him to be healthy. But he, he, it's like a photo op. He hits a little crack and he's going head first. I mean, come yeah. on now. We know it's a photo op. Here right. I come and there he goes. I'm like. Yeah, but, well, when, when Trump was president, should we maybe we should have installed escalators to get on board Air Force One. They, they have him walking no, up the I, steps. I, I, you know, I almost fell down the steps. At my age, I won't get. At my age, I won't get on a bicycle. You know why? Alex, wait a minute. You know why? Age, wait, wait a minute. You know why? No. Old. because I'm old exactly I just wanted and I'm, and the other the other factor is I'm lazy as fuck <laughs> yeah. but Biden's having teleprompter issues now yeah that quote, was funny today end of quote and then he, he read and then he read a repeat that line or something like that <laughs> It was supposed to not be read. You know, by I him. want. I'm right. I'm, I'm, I'm going to vote yeah. for president. I'm going to vote for the guy who doesn't look like he's reading a teleprompter. I don't care if he is. Just doesn't <laughs> look like he is. I mean, did Obama ever look like he was reading off a teleprompter? Never. 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 I I've gone back and Trump listened. To, yeah, I've gone never. back and listened to a couple of his speeches. And it's like, oh my God! It's like, who is this God? <laughs> where, where, where is this guy from? Because it's like totally different than we've seen this last. Well, eight. also, I mean, I loved, I loved Trump with the teleprompter. He, he made no bones about it. He just kind of leaned there like he's reading something. And then he'd throw in a couple of uh, little side Beautiful. words, which then would get him in trouble, you know. <laughs> but I mean. But that's who Tony I, likes. Tony, 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 Tony loves, he, yeah, loves Donald I Trump. His, I heard on Trump's teleprompter that if they were talking about a dog, they just showed a picture of a dog. I remember those notes that they showed, and it was like yeah. really big print. Yes. Yeah. Poor thing. Hmm. Yeah. Our president was, re as I'm they sure say in Boston, our president was, <laughs> our president was retarded. Yeah. You know, Tony, Tony, if Trump runs again, you can invite him to your house and make him your primo sausages, and he'll probably have you executed right after he makes president again. Yeah. Coming up with some. By the way, uh, yeah. I can't cook, so whatever. <coughs> yeah. Well, uh, uh, Shecky, uh, Shecky is being has a a a, uh, a special chef now at his house. That's me. I know. That's what I, I I'm heard. I'm going to leave you some of my food. I should leave you my rice pudding out if you'd like it. My mother's uh, rice pudding. I, don't, I wouldn't eat it. Why? Because it's got sugar in it. Oh, yeah, you're right. A half a cup out. Yeah. I looked at her old recipe. I had such a hard time deciphering it, what she put in. It's not a hard recipe, but she used to always make it. So I had my sister come over. Can you understand how to write it? And she says, oh, that looks like she put in heavy cream. I said, oh, because I couldn't understand what she wrote. Because some people leave the heavy cream out. She put it in with the with the uh, milk and the sugar. Yeah, it is. 
It is really creamy though, I have to say. I'm just eating some before I fall. Mm -hmm. I nuked it like a 30 seconds and I mixed it. It was good. I was watching the Yankee. I was watching the Yankee Union. It looks like baby shit rice pudding. <laughs> Come on. Well, I'll tell you, they do have a great rice pudding store here in New York oh, called Re uh, Rice to Riches or something. Oh, really? Yeah, it's down in the village. And man, they have all kinds of different flavors, you know. And it's just, it's. I really, I'm a problem. Now I'm jonesing for it. Jeez, I'll, it's good. It's, I, I'll leave you some. I'll, you know, if you want, I'll make you a batch. No, I don't want yours. I want the stuff Look, down to this rice to riches. This I don't want, I don't want the crap you're coming up with because eventually, eventually, I'm going to, I'm going to get a call from Shecky saying I got the worst stomach ache <laughs> from got, something that Tony for made. Three days after eating Tony's food. <laughs> no, he raved about a couple of my dishes. Those were my mother's recipes. We learned that a couple. Well, Alex raved about the fish place too. And yeah, I loved. It. I came back here, said I had the greatest tuna tartare at night. You it was wonderful. Yeah. And the next day, they're hauling me off to the hospital. <laughs> Mother used to say, "You got to be careful eating fish in a restaurant. You never know." If they're Re clean. Really? Okay. Yeah, she never used to get fishy now because she says you got to make sure they clean. Golf a bit. Well, of course, they clean the fish. But she was always. But you see, I always eat uh, raw tuna. I mean, I love raw tuna. Oh, you'll eat tuna fish out of the can? No. Oh, no Jesus. What, 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 what kind of a chef are you? Oh, tuna I mean, out of a can. Oh, yeah, well, that's that really tuna. great tuna. <laughs> I'm talking about you go, you get these, uh, you get the tuna fillets, and then you chop them up raw, okay? And, and maybe cube them. And then you uh, take a pair of chopsticks and you fill up a bowl full of soy sauce and wasabi. And then you start eating your tuna. That's what I do. I go down the street here to this fish market. I get, get some tuna, bring it back, and we eat it raw. Maybe if you're going to cook it, you yeah. cook it so it's seared slightly on every side but is very rare in the middle. And then uh, that's one way to cook it. Am I right? Anybody disagree with yeah, me about this? Am I right, Jeff? I, I like it both ways. I eat, I eat sushi. Once I don't eat. What? And I've had tuna with like steer it. it on both sides. Me and Jeff don't eat that. Yeah, I'll just eat fish cake. Well, I mean, you do you ever go and get? Uh, uh, um, do you ever go and get uh, sushi? No, my brother yes. eats fish. Yeah, okay. Well, sushi is raw. Yeah, yeah I don't. I, eat I said I, fish cakes and frozen fish. I right? don't eat it on purpose anymore. Oh, yeah. oh, you don't eat it on purpose, yeah. so I have to say, "Hey, this is a, this is cooked steak," and then give it to you. Yeah, <laughs> I have to fool you. Different. Yeah, uh, you you kind of look like you were cringing over raw tuna, right, Charlie? I do not eat raw fish at all. Oh my god! Mm -hmm. Well, you know the Japanese ain't cooked. I don't eat it. The Japanese do, and they're still all alive. Go for that. <laughs> <laughs> Do you eat cooked a fish, Charlie? No, I don't even eat cooked fish. <laughs> there you go. You don't like fish. Okay. Oh, I, I eat fish. Hmm. Well, I you know, and I, I I want I want I do I want more like I like uh, I, I, I eat, uh tuna ah tower. You know what I'm talking about, uh, yeah. uh, Brian? Where it's like a tower and it's got a uh, uh, avocado, and then it's got a oh, yeah. layer of the of the tuna, and then it's got some whatever. Just yeah. one to die for, to yeah. die for if you get yeah, it. I, I love sushi and sashimi. And yeah, and so that's why when I had an opportunity to have some, you know, tuna tartare, cool, you know. Well, not at that place anymore. But sometimes it, I've had I've had food, or I've eaten somewhere. And then I've I've gotten sick, and maybe it's not from that, or maybe it is from that, and I've thrown that up, mm -hmm. and then I can't have that again because I I don't want that taste in my mouth. No, nope. because it would remind me of that that the, episode. The taste of what in your mouth? So like, so Tiffany's mom. <laughs> so she had. <laughs> Let me make sure it's locked. No, she had this she had this Vietnamese salad, and so and this happened to me before. But, but this last time it was some some kind of salad with some octopus some I don't know what it was in there 
and it just had a weird taste and I ate it and then like that that night I threw up and I threw that up well you know what I you have to do it, 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 was, it was it was it a Vietnamese dish yes well here's what you got to do you got to napalm it first <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah so i so i i've had that before i i had some other stuff and that i can't have that because i feel like when i taste that you, I, you know I, you know what's interesting you should uh, uh on uh monday we did our monday show which was wonderful it was like having our own mm-hmm. little july 4th cookout you know yeah. we have people all in their different places with their families jeff had his family around him and <laughs> And the, and then you were out at the park, with your family, and your ninety year old. Um, what's the relationship of her to you? So that's Adrian's grandmother. A- oh, sorry, Adrian's great grandmother. Yes. Great grandmother, and I thought of her. She she's ninety years old. She was there for the Vietnam War, wasn't yeah, she? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And and and, um, and her husband just passed away last year, and they're both in their nineties. Yeah. So. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But where were they living during that war? Was in Da Nang. Da Nang. So Da Nang wasn't really hit that bad, but but it was a beach. That's China Beach. <clears throat> but Da Nang, Da Nang, is that in South Vietnam or in uh, the, mid, north? Mid, but on the coast. Really? So China Beach was. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, yeah, but so it was like medical. A lot of medical. You could, when I flew down there last time, you still see any of those? I don't know what those are called. Those. Remember Gomer Pyle? Gomer Pyle. Yeah. 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 Yeah, they still have a bunch of those there. And, you know, they have all the war stuff. and uh, so. mm. You know, it's interesting that this is a country that we were at war with. I hate to say that. We actually caused a war against. That's a, probably a better way of putting it. And the decimation that we did and the war that we had over there. And the fact was that this was a nation that, given that the war was over, suddenly became our our friends right they became a, a neighboring nation and and it, it's such a shame what we did over there just such a shame well we, japan's the same thing i mean japan attacked us but but we're friends with japan we yeah but that, but like, but it, yeah but I mean, and and the, but that's even longer ago i mean as soon as that war was over we started healing we started saying, let's start doing trade and business and so on and so yeah, forth. Yeah, money to be made. Yeah. I will bet that the our our, our uh, relationship with Russia is going to be screwed up for a long time. I think uh, I think it's been screwed up forever anyway. Even ever since World War II, it's been screwed up. Yeah. You know, ever since we didn't start that second uh, uh, front in in Europe, uh, which we were going to do in order to help them. Uh, that we never did it, and so it was what resulted were millions upon millions of Russians getting killed because of us. Yeah, well, we we also uh, the Russians killed a lot of Jews. It wasn't just the <clears throat> yeah, yeah, but yeah. but the Jews always are the get killed, you know. And and I start thinking, you know, after I hear about all these stories about how. Uh, this group of people tried to kill the Jews, and the Nazis tried to kill the Jews, and so on. And my whole attitude is, what is it we're doing that pisses people off? That's what I'm trying to figure out, you know. Yeah, and then you know, <clears throat> me, I'm hanging a lot. I hung out with a lot of Vietnamese before, and I still have a lot of Vietnamese friends, but was really hanging out with a lot of them. And I mean, we take it for granted for being here, but man, when you hear the stories about Vietnamese coming here, you know, on the boats and stuff like that, I mean, the stories that I've heard, you know, and you guys have heard stuff about, you know, the, the pirates hitting the ships, raping the women, throwing them overboard because then they're useless to them, you know, all these kind of things, and they still do anything possible just to get here. And they don't come here for them. Her family are full of doctors, but then they come here, they can't be doctors because nothing translates for them over here. And but they still come here and they come here for their kids so their kids have a better life. And uh, it's just, I mean, I, I don't think I would sacrifice every single thing I have right now, hop on a boat with Tiffany, go across the ocean and, and try to make a life for some other, you know, country out there that is like, you know, is like the place to be, you know. So I, and for them to do all that stuff is, is pretty. Pretty, uh, well, it, to think that they were in the midst of all—how well, many years ago was that war? Now we we tend to think of it as just 
finished a few. Years ago. Was years it forty-five years ago, years ago, yeah. years ago yeah. that it ended? When did it end? Yeah. Seventy-five. Seventy-five. So that's a long time ago. In fact, what Tiffany probably wasn't born yet, was she? She was born when I was in when I was a uh, junior in high school. <laughs> you know, you know, Brian. It's a good thing your eating is not like sex. Because, because it, you know, the first couple times I ever had sex, I got sick. Oh, really? Wow. And, but I went back to having sex again. So, you know, mm. you're, you're, you can't eat something again. Yeah, I yeah that's it. funny because I had a tendency to make every woman I was with nauseous. <laughs> so it was... Uh, uh, no, the, I think the first girl... Oh, there we go. Here comes the infected wow. one, the one who passed the infection to everybody. <laughs> I want to start everything. Get out of here. I think that the only time I've And now she just saunters in. in. She can saunter in because she doesn't have it anymore. Yeah. Yeah. But she can get it again, so she needs to be careful. They still said five days after you test uh, negative, you can still pass it on. I don't know. Mm. Who I, knows? I, we don't know. That's my excuse. I'm using we don't know crap. Here. We, yeah. we just, you know, in the beginning, it was like, be sure you hose yourself down before you come into the house. This yeah. is, this is a new disease. We've only been dealing with this for two and a half years. But it may be a new disease, but it's not a new disease because it is an offshoot of, a, of, 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 a, of certain diseases that we've had in the past. And we should know how to, how to handle it because of its, you know, of what it is. But we don't. We don't know what to do. We're learning. I mean, it's pretty amazing. I mean, I, 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 you're not in the medical community. Brian probably knows this, though. But it's pretty amazing. In, in less than a year, we figured out what it was, and then we had a vaccine in less than a year. <clears throat> that is like I um, understand though the vaccine that we the amazing. vaccine that we had was already. Uh, they've been working on it for 15 years or something the like trans, that. The, the, the way that yeah the the. the not the vaccine, not the, not but, the, but the me thing. methodology. The met, thank you, methodology. Yeah, it's been around for twenty years. They developed it for MERS or SARS or something like that, and it and those didn't take off very big around here. Yeah. So anyway, like, we, our, like our company, we're po we're positioned for this because we've been doing for respiratory diseases for for uh, flu A, flu one, and then uh, uh, RSV. So yeah, so I mean we we were ready. For it, we're always ready for these kind of things. So mm. for us, it was a little bit easier because we already had a platform to start with. Yep. So, Good. well, do you think Mark, do you think that the uh, the the vaccine has been a game changer? Has it been that effective that it's oh, a game yeah. changer? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. definitely. Yeah. Anyway. If you remember before the uh, you know uh, when Delta was around and stuff, and people were not is vaccinated and people were dying <clears throat> five six ten thousand people a day in this country alone yeah and now that they're vaccinated although the vaccine's not working very well against mild disease it's still working pretty well against hospitalization and death well i kind of then, hmm, what i could say the thing we just we just actually had a press a press release a couple days ago is for leukemia where <clears throat> we we've been testing for leukemia for a while and now we're starting to get into the monitoring of it for patients at home now so even though I, that's why i really like our company because we put so much money into r d not just looking at what's right now but we continue to keep going on the future stuff even with covid going on are, are they publicly held or privately held it's private now yeah. okay. well it, dan, dan hurts public dan hurts public so okay yeah. so uh tony are you going to get COVID again? You know, I actually took a COVID test yes uh, this, uh, yesterday. I mean, uh, this morning. Yeah. Because I felt like I had the sniffle test. I had the I had the two test kit. One was used. I it was it was sitting there on the counter. So let me just test. So I tested this morning and it was negative. Yeah. So you know, Tony, you're not supposed to stick the Q-tip in the end of your penis. It's supposed to go in your nose. 15 seconds, 15, I don't know. But he does I it because it feels food. good, Alan. Oh, okay, sorry. <laughs> but I have more anxiety from not having it right now than having it, I think, because I keep thinking that I'm sick, that I have a sore throat, and I, I'm this. Oh my if God, you, so if you night. suddenly had it, you could go in and, and hang out with it. you're not even Jewish, Brian. 
Mm-hmm. You, you could actually go in and hang out with the kids. You know? Yeah. That's why I'm trying to do car stuff this weekend. <laughs> so at least if I'm locked down for a week. We should send you a thermometer so you can check your forehead all the time like Alex did. <laughs> I have one. Well, you know, I mean, I check my temperature all the time because your temperature does go up, doesn't it? That's well, I'm going to it. My it varies. Mother, like your blood pressure, it varies throughout the day. When you ever had a temperature, Alex, my mother, I had the electronic thing that you have, yeah. and I was testing her. She never ran a temperature. So I just put a battery in it. <laughs> it was always normal. I was testing myself and her. I was like, we never had a temperature. You know that you know that it, it comes with a battery. You got to install it before it works, Tony. I got it at CVS. It still works. You got it at CVS. You know, one of those electronic jobs, which was on the lock and key because they were getting robbed so much. I yeah, I love that. how you go to the you go to the goddamn drugstore and everything is locked up. Locked you got, up. and then you can't go find the person with the key. Exactly. How do they ever sell anything in those places? You know, I saw. I mean, me and my. I, it's like I, I me and my sister. Like we never had this when we were kids getting stuff. Now everything is locked up half the time. I was like, this is a, this is ridiculous. I, so, changing the subject a little bit. I understand uh, some medical group is going to take a ship. Uh, you know, not not a big ship, but like a crew. Uh, not a cruise ship, a uh, a yacht, and put a big it steaming ship. Put it in international waters. Where they can, where off of Texas, where they're going to be able to do abortions. That's the rumor. Yep, that yeah. would be great. You know something? They, but they have to be twelve miles out, right? Yep. yep. International waters. I think it's twelve miles. So That's how do you get them out? Stop. How do they get out there? Helicopter. Helicopter. Yeah, but wait a minute. I don't know wait a, a minute. boat, a rowboat. A it's got. It, I don't know. It's got to be yeah. something that that. Uh, the poor people can do, okay? Yeah, you know, the, the rich people. people don't have a problem getting an abortion. Well, they've got funds. I keep getting these uh, solicitations to help with these organizations that will pay for women to travel. Be careful. They, yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, you know, in Florida, Disney will, uh, any of the people who, who want an abortion, they will pay for them to go to another state to get it. Right. You Give know. them time off. Yeah. I mean, I can hardly wait till the state of Florida decides to pass some kind of law where it's illegal to, you know, do that for yeah. your for your employees. Well, DeSantis and Disney are just like hateful to yeah. it. Well, somebody pointed out, isn't that great? And then I think one of you pointed yeah. out, well, it's cheaper than having to pay maternity leave. Somebody yeah. pointed that out. Yep, yeah, it is. You know, Um but I mean, do company? The question is then going to be: we're going to, we're going to have so many legal actions in all of this that so many questions are going to be asked that this court is going to have. Uh, did you, by the way, did you see Biden today go after the court? Yes. And yes. just say they become like rogue, you know? Yep. Uh, I, you know, this was settled law. This is so silly. I mean, it's not silly. Well, it's not it's silly. silly. It's, it's very so serious. Sad. It's so it. sad. This was settled law 50 years ago. Jesus. Well, you know. Oh, here's something you can blame on uh, on on Biden, by the way, Tony, just in case you're looking for something. Um, Larry Storch died today. No, F Troop. I thought he was dead. I was going to tell Alex. He was in his 90s. He was 99. 99, 99 yeah. yeah. Almost 100. 99. Oh, I got, you want to know something scary? I was going to tell you this, Alex. This is totally off topic. Do you know Potsy? wants to run for a political office from Anson Williams from Happy Days. Yeah. What the hell does he know about anything? Well, then what does Trump know about anything? No. Well, it was a gopher or whatever on the love boat when ran for Congress and got elected. I mean, haven't we learned about not voting for people who are on television? You know. Yeah, look at the one, look at Reagan. He worked out so well. It, yeah, he worked out great. If you were rich, you were in good shape with him. If you were middle class, they kicked you to the curb. And if you were poor, you don't even exist. Really took a beating. You know. Yeah. 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 But hey, Larry Storch dead. Okay. Mm-hmm. So. I can see Tony's broken. Now here, uh, imagine this for a second, okay? Uh, Charlie, you know who Larry Storch is? Yeah. Uh, Jeff, do you know who Larry Storch is? 
Oh, I yeah. used to. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. You know who Larry Storch is, Alan? Tony, yeah. you know who Larry Storch is? Yeah. Yeah. Ryan, do you know who Larry Storch is? Uh, yes, because I saw Shecky's post. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> if you ask me, though, I didn't know who he was. It, uh, he was on F Troop. Didn't you ever yeah. watch that as a kid? I, I saw the picture. Now, let's do this. Yeah, but... Yeah, but I mean, Brian is, 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 what, how old are you now, Brian? Yeah, I forget. <laughs> well, let's 53 see. 53 or 4 or 5 or something. 53 or 4 or 5, oh, yeah, okay. something like that. Okay. But, you know, you probably would not remember Larry Storch. I mean, we all yeah. find that impossible. Who doesn't, who hasn't heard of Larry Storch? Well, people our age have. But, but only F Trooper was the other, other stuff. Huh? Was he in other stuff or just F Troop? Just, uh, basically, he's known most for F Troop. F Troop. Okay. I've I been to some, you know, other TV shows and, and movies. He was in a few movies. Yeah, but but he was not as well known. Yeah. He was right. never the uh, big star in the movie. Well, F Troop yeah. was in like the late 60s and early 70s, right? Uh, no, it was, it was 60s. Well, I, I remember watching it as a kid on TV. Well, I'll, 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 I'll tell you right now. Syndication. Uh, yeah. Wow. Uh, F Troop. Yeah, I didn't think about that. That might have been reruns. <laughs> F Troop. Well, yeah, you could live with the reruns. F Troop was 1965. Yeah. How many yeah. years ago is that? Yeah, and so uh, I was probably watching it. Yeah. 57. Yeah, I was probably watching it yeah. in the 70s because I remember it. Somewhat. Yeah. I didn't. That was 30 years old. Yeah. And here's F Troop. I was in high school in 65. Yeah. I don't remember watching it. In case people don't know who we're talking about, hold on a second. Let me see here. Computer. Uh, <coughs> let me see here. Uh, don't you hold up the mouse. Hold on. Hold on. Computer. For people out there, this is Larry Storch right here. Right here. That guy right see. there. That guy, guy there. That's Larry Storch. In case you don't, in case you don't know, okay. So, there he is. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. 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 Uh, so I thought I would just uh, uh, let's see here. Maybe I can get a better picture of him. Now, before. now, now he's got a dirt bed for the rest of his life. Hmm. <laughs> rest of his life. <laughs> the rest of his life. The right. Yeah. I guess he has no life. I guess he's he's in a dirt bed now. In in. Yeah. Barry. Hey, here, here, I got a better picture of him. I'm getting a better, better. Hold on a second. Computer, okay. Mm -hmm. There we go, this there we the go. First time. Don't there we go, there he Alex. is. See, right there. Right Don't there. anybody tell Alex he's missing his hat. What? Yeah, what? Yeah, no, I decided not to wear the hat tonight. Well, if you're going to not wear one, i got to show off my bald spot, too. Jesus. Well, then that looks Your terrible. lighting's better. I'll leave my hat on. I, I have a better shaped head. Absolutely. You know. But anyway, that 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 was uh, Larry Storch. So yeah, you really got to search the internet to find pictures of you with a full head of hair. Oh, really? I, well, yeah. I mean, I spent an hour one day watching different <laughs> clips of you. You were at one hotel in San Francisco and interviewing comedians, and Larry King was there, and a couple other people, and you had your receding hairline thing going, and you know, and a, and you were interviewed by some news station about you and another DJ that they were always putting together uh, I forget okay. the other DJ oh, so, so do you have any other insulting things you want to say about me I don't think it's insulting that I don't mind my hair the way it is no what happened was is I um, um, I, yeah, I was one of the kind of most people in the losing their hair like you uh, keep every inch of it that they possibly can and and, and uh, one day uh, I had a friend, uh, Robert Schimmel, who said, "If I were you, because I was doing, I still had, you know, I still had hair up here." He said, yeah. "I would just shave the top of your head, and then shave it really <laughs> close on the sides like this." He said, "I call, he called it preemptive baldness, and what it does is that it it's not like you're trying to hide it, you know." Every, and don't grow it long in the back because you get that Danny DeVito look. Yeah. You know? I can't grow mine long. It starts curling. Oh. Yeah. So, you, you, know, yeah. It, it, you know, at some point, you might consider just shaving it off. Yeah. I've done it once. I didn't like the... 
I don't know. I, I didn't like brushing my hair with a wash rag. Again. Well, you know, I mean, um, uh, it might make you look better, but I think there's an old saying that goes, you can do a lot of things in life, but you can't shine shit. You know, it's a, it's a little philosophy. A little long. philosophy for you. Yeah, I mean, it, it isn't that big of a deal to me because ever since I was a kid, I wore a baseball cap. And some of my friends have never seen me without a hat off, and I take my hat off to adjust my hair in, in a restaurant or somewhere we're out, and they're like, ah, oh, you're follically challenged. I'm like, I've been this way for Well, like I, you know, I, I don't wear a cap for any other reason, but, but that, you know, uh, it usually it keeps the uh, sun out of my eyes, and when I'm I, here in the studio, it keeps the lights out of my eyes. I think I got like 40 of them that I alternate, and I think I got another 100 of them that are brand new. But I think I look back. better I think I look better tonight without it than I did with it, you know. Yeah. So, okay. you know, I'm happy. Yeah. You know. uh, All that matters. Wait a minute. Hold on a second. I'm trying to pick it. There we I'm go. the opposite. I've never been a hat guy, ever. My well, if I had great. hair like yours, I probably wouldn't either. But okay. I mean, I wore, I wore see, baseball caps. I'm six foot four, so you don't know what's going on up here. <laughs> That's a good thing. <laughs> Are you losing a little back there, soft crown? Oh yeah. Am I? You know, it's your mother's father. My my mother's father was Italian, had light, you know, had the gray hair, had a wavy. My hair is really wavy, and uh, and he was. Well, you get thin. you get baldness from your maternal grandfather. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. 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 My okay. maternal my grandfather father. was. Ball, 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 ball. Yeah. Like a cue ball. So, so uh, Simon, I always show him his grandfather. I said, just remember, you better love that hair while you got it. <laughs> yes. I mean, I guess it was probably, I was probably in my early 50s where I started losing it. Sorry, Brian. Mm -hmm. but I had a full head of hair like that. And people would tell me all the time, Oh, you got this great hair. You'll never go bald. Yeah, what did they know? But what I love about Adrian, she loves to show her flexibility. You know mm -hmm. that picture you have of her with the legs straight up in the air, like she's yeah. uh, like she, she does swimming. I, I've been teaching her swimming, yeah. so she's been swimming now, and then she does something, and then she stops and she lifts her leg up. It's like everything yeah. now she ends up she lifts her leg up. Yeah, well, I, and I, as I said the other night to her, do it while you can. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, because you get to be in your twenties, and that's going to get a little more difficult. <laughs> Unless yeah. you're a gymnast or you do a lot of stretching. <laughs> well, even gymnasts, you know, lose that yeah. flexibility with time. By the way, yeah, did you sure. see? Uh, did you see that uh, Biden gave people the Medal of Honor, and Including Simone Biles China. was one of the ones who got it. And the Republicans are bitching that he turned one of the medals the wrong way. Really? He, he didn't do it. I, I watched the video where he, you know, where he gave the medals. What are they bitching at? They, he gave three Republicans, three lifelong Republicans, the medal. Well, and those are the ones he turned the other way. <laughs> <laughs> they gave John McCain long overdue. You know. Oh, oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah. But yeah. Simone Biles and uh, um, Denzel Washington. Yo, Denzel, Denzel Washington. got COVID. They just announced he got yeah, COVID. He was, oh, is that, yeah, he is that the reason he wasn't there? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, he tested positive for yeah. COVID. Well, whatever. Hey, there, there's our theme song. Boy, it's been very nice tonight. It's been a nice oh, little friend. bunch of people talking, enjoying themselves. And the numbers have been pretty good, too. You know? See? We can do it without you, Phil. Anyway, <laughs> it's very nice of you to all be here this evening. Nice you could drop by and join the program. And um, uh, thank you very much, Charlie. Always a pleasure. Jeff, great. You're still up, up in Cape Cod, right? I'm leaving tomorrow. Oh, okay. Tomorrow uh, I'm coming home. Tomorrow yeah. they're evicting you from up there. Yeah, uh, sure Brian, so nice to see you. Sorry about the whole family coming down and being uh, 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 with the cooties. I'm going to go downstairs. You, you got to go downstairs. <laughs> In your own home, God. Uh, I don't Al, have anywhere to sleep anymore. I don't know where I'm going to sleep. Alan, <laughs> thank you so much for being here. And Tony, oh God, I I just I can't tell you what joy it gives me to 
did not have, have to speak to you. have an old mattress in the garage what? you're welcome to, Brian. Anyway, okay. everybody give a big wave goodbye, and I'll give a big wave goodbye at you. And uh, say so long, folks. Wait a minute. Have a good weekend. Oh, I, I see here. There we go. I pushed, I pushed the wrong button because the button's over here. And it's, anyway, thank you all. Uh, listen, uh, Jack Bishop is next. He's here with the intersection. Uh, he will be here talking to you and taking your calls at Sky, on Skype at GabNet Live. Okay, give him a call. Uh, in the meantime, I'm out of here until Monday at 4 o'clock when on Facebook we'll do the pop-up. And then next uh, Wednesday we're back here at uh, 1030 for another little go-round of the ramble. In the meantime, as always, if you see her, tell her I love her. Have a nice night, everybody. Bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs>